Hello YouTube, what is up? Connor Brooks here with another video for you. Um, before we get into this review, I would just like to say I hope everyone is um, staying safe in this time of crisis. Um, personally, I am staying safe, I am staying indoors, and also personally, I feel like that this is the best time to be a modeler um, because we're forced to stay inside, which means we're kind of forced to play with our trains, which is kind of what I've been doing for the past three days, which is why I haven't done a review in three days even though I've been here because I've just been so busy playing with trains but now we are back and we're gonna be doing a review I'm hoping to put a lot more content on the channel in the next two weeks since I'm gonna be um, with the layout for the next two weeks so um, with that said let's go ahead and get right into this review um, we're going to be reviewing the Bachman Alco um, 260 uh, DCC sound value. Um, now I got this second hand so the box is kind of crappy and I don't really have any of the paperwork or anything but this is the box that it came in and it would also have um, some sort of case for it to sit in inside the box. It would come with uh, sound value and a bunch of other stuff like that. But like I said I don't have that so this is really all that I have for the unboxing, which means we can get right to the locomotive. So let's make it our way on over to the layout. Drum roll, please. And here she is. And you know what? We're going to go close this because it's a little too bright. There we go. A little too bright for the train. So... Ah, back to what I was saying. And here she is in all her pride and glory. Now, this is... Excuse me. Now, this is Wabash 573. And I actually had the pleasure of seeing this locomotive in person. Um, I don't remember which museum it is. I believe it's, it's either... I believe it's the St. Louis Transportation Museum. Um, I don't remember the exact title, but it was right outside of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I went on a... A road trip last summer and that was one of the places that we stopped which is actually the reason why we ended up getting this locomotive now I've had this since August but I haven't done a review until now because it was missing some parts um, when I got it so I sent it to Bachman and they ended up shipping it to my actual house uh, not the house where the layout is at so um, I just kept it there for a long time, and I finally um, brought it with me. So anyway, going into the details, let's go ahead and just start with the front. Um, first off, we've got the uh, cow catcher um, backslash snowplow, um, crew steps, uh, coupler. Uh, there is a coupler cut lever that is movable, as you can see. Um, there is the um, 573 and then the headlight with a little tiny... 573 up there. Um, just to, just so you know, this locomotive is actually pretty small. Um, it's it's really adorable. Um, I call it the little engine that could, um, because the little engine that could cannot pull this long consist of freight cars. I actually have the um, 280 um, help with that, and I actually consist it together, and it looks pretty cool. So it doesn't have a lot of pulling power because it's a small little locomotive. Um, it's only a uh, 260. Um, anyway, continuing on to the side, um, here is the, um, front wheels, here is the, uh, side rods, which, this is actually more stable than, uh, the 280 or the, um, 2884 EM1 that I have. Um, smokestack, which is a small, uh, smokestack, a bell, which does not move, um, some domes, piping, uh, there is some, uh, Handrail type um, things there, which is pretty nice. Sorry, it's got some dust on it. Um, there is no treaded walkways, but um, that's to be expected for a Bachman uh, locomotive. There is nice rivet detail. I will give it that. Um, and I don't know what this thing is, but there is not one on this side. As you can see, this side is smooth and clean and a little bit differently, and it shows a little bit more wiring there. Um, moving on to the um, tender. This is a really small tender. So like there's my finger and my finger is bigger than the tender. It is really small, but it's cute. 
like I said, it's a little engine that could. It does have a little, um, excuse me, it does have a little backup light, which is that pretty dim, which you will see. Um, here is a hatch. Uh, I'm assuming that's for water and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's a little ladder back here. I don't know if there it is. Um, it's actually nice and sturdy, so that's nice. Um, separately, probably grab irons. Easy Mate Mark II coupler, you can tell by the little spring. Um, and that kind of... Oh, let's look at roof detail. There is etched on roof detail um, for vents that would open, but uh, this does not open because, of course, it is a Bachman sound value. Um, that's really it for detail because... Since um, since it is a Bachman, there isn't too much detail. Um, there is a little, uh, looks like a builder's plate or something. And it actually looks legible. Yeah, it says, um, oh, American Locomotive Works. Yep, that's its Alco building plate because this, as I said, is an Alco. Um, now, I'm just going to say this. In real life, Wabish 573 does not look exactly like this. Um, just like their 280s, um, Bachman chose one specific type, and then they just put road numbers on that. Um, this one looks, I believe, like one for the Strasburg Railroad. I'm not completely sure. From the research I did, I think it's from one that is at the Strasburg. So, anyway, just wanted to put that out there. So, let's go ahead and go into sounds. So, I did change some of the sounds, but I have this reset back to factory so this is exactly what you get when you take it out of the box. So I'm going to apply track power. And the sounds immediately come on. There's no startup sequence because this is, like I said, a sound value. All right. So let's first go ahead and turn on the headlight with F0. Um, it's actually quite dim. Uh, it looks a little bit brighter on camera. Um, and then let's look at the backup light. Again, it's dim, but it looks brighter on camera. Um, since, I, since, as I said, it did not come with a quick start guide, um, I printed off one just so we can see, or I can tell you what the um, functions are. F1 is the bell. Now, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's actually really quiet. Um, horn is... F2 is whistle, not horn. This is not a diesel. F3 is short whistle. F4 is steam release. F5 does not do anything. Um, F6 is smoke, but this does not have smoke. F7 is the dimmer, as you can see. And F8 is, of course, mute. So that about does it for the sounds. Um, I will go ahead and do a quick grade crossing sequence so you can hear that with the bell and whistle. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing moving. Speed step one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there is no brake squeal or anything like that, and there's really no. It's just constant acceleration and deceleration there's no um uh, there's no realistic like slowdown effect or anything like that so yeah that is the bachman alco 260 so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review um nothing special but i actually really like this locomotive because most of the locomotives that i have are bigger locomotives like the em1 is a 2884 um i have two 484s and then i the smallest locomotive that I had was the uh, 280, but now this is the smallest locomotive, and I personally like small steam locomotives, um, 
because it one adds variety and I think that they're super cute. So, like I said, this is going to wrap up the review. Um, thank you for choosing my channel. Um, if you are new, please look around at some of my other videos. And if you are returning, stay tuned for some more content. Um, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below for a suggestion. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.